In this video, I want to show you top and tail editing across several tracks. Now, I've already done a top and tail editing video, and in that video, we focus on just one video track, trimming just one video track above an audio track. So in this session, I have three video tracks, and it's a screen capture, it's a tutorial about uh, icon sizes and windows, then I have uh, me, and then me again there, and then three audio tracks. They're all the same content, so they've all been lined up. I record the audio from multiple angles, and everything has been lined up, meaning our video and our audio, they're all lined up, and everything is ready to be edited. Okay, so since everything is in time and in sync, this is the time in my editing that I go through. And right now what we're doing is we're cutting for time and content. Okay, so I wanna make sure all the content is exactly where I want it to be. And then on my next editing pass, I'll go through and you know maybe like mark an edit and then pull that out so, because maybe I want you know a different frame there or something. Okay, but our first pass here, we're editing for content to make sure uh, I'm not making any mistakes. There you go. That's as, as you see right there. I make I make a mistake. There you go. That's as, that's just a real quick tip. I uh, wanted to make sure everyone. All right. Please or decrease the size. There you go. That's as, that's just a. So right here where I stumble on my words where I say that's as, I need to cut that out. Now there's several ways I could do that. I could select all my tracks. Okay. I could mark an edit. And then I could. Mark another edit here. And again, the add edit button is right here. I have it mapped to my B key. You probably have it mapped to a different key. Just make sure you have it mapped somewhere on your keyboard. And if you need to know how to do that, be sure to go back and watch that first top and tail editing video. If you've never done top and tail editing, you'll need to know those basics uh, before we continue here. Okay, so be sure to watch that video. So anyway, after I have made my cuts there, I could say draw a lasso and I could just hit delete a couple times then everything will slide back. I could just lift the stuff out, or extract it, but that's not what I want to do. I want to do top and tail editing. Now, I have the top and tail keys mapped to my E and R keys. And real quick, we'll just go to the keyboard here. As you can see that, they're mapped right there. And once again, just like I showed you in the last video, uh, open your command palette and make sure those are mapped to your keyboard. Just come to the edit. Right here is top and tail. So map them somewhere to your keyboard, wherever you want. You can also map them down onto your timeline right here if you want as well top and tail. So now let's use top and tail editing to cut out this part where I stumble. That's, a, that's just a real. And come right back in right there where I uh, pick up with the actual right words. So the way I'm going to do this, uh, you know, I could do it several different ways. First of all, make sure we have all of our tracks selected. Now I'll mark an edit right there, right where I'm going to stumble. Then I'll just drag my playhead about right to where I want to uh, cut in at right here. And then I'll do a top edit. So I'll just hit the E key. And that trimmed out the top of that clip. You know, everything to the controls there, everything to the left of our playhead here, this, this stuff just right there got cut out. Okay. Put my edit mark back in there. Make sure I have all the tracks selected. Okay. So we'll do this one more time. I'll just park my playhead right here because that's where I want to come back in. I'll hit E and all of this here will be cut out and we'll be left with everything on this side. And because we put this edit here, even though, control Z, control Z, even though this is one continuous clip, okay, if I were to come here and just do E, well, that trims out my entire beginning. I don't want that. I just want to trim out this part here. So mark my edit, park my playhead here, hit E, and that trims out just that little bit. Everything shuffles forward to the beginning of my timeline so there's no gaps across any of these tracks, any of my video tracks or my audio tracks, because we have all of them selected. Okay. So now when we watch, there you go. That's just a real quick tip. So now it's nice and smooth, nice, smooth edit. Now I'm sure I make more mistakes somewhere around here. And then you can go ahead and set things up however you want, structure them out. There you go. You're good. There you go. You're ready to see right there. I'm messing up again. And there you go. You have personalized your computer a little bit more and also Okay, so right here's where I want to come in. Now this time I'll mark and edit right where I want to come in. That's my B key. Again, here's the add edit button. All right, and the words I'm supposed to say are, and there you go, you have personalized your computer. And there you go, you have personalized your computer. So let's come back here, however you want, structure them out. There you go, you're good. There you go, you're ready. So see, I need to cut this out, all of this here out. And again, I could, you know, I could like use my roller trim and then roll this back but you know that takes time control z out of that and 
get off of there. So again, we already have our edit marked right where we want to come back in. So I'll just pull my playhead, you know, right where I want to start my cut. Push them out. There you go. Right where I say, there you go. So right here, so I park it right here. Now I'm going to do a tail edit. A tail edit is going to cut out everything on the tail on the right side of our playhead here. And because we added that edit right there, now this is a smaller clip, okay? It's very important to add that edit on a continuous clip because I'll control Z and remove that edit. Now, if I were to park my playhead here and do a tail edit, now it cuts everything out. <laughs> you know, that's the rest of my video. Control Z, get back. So again, boom, put my edit right there because that's where I want to come in. And then push them out. There you go. Right here's where I want to cut out. So I'll hit R. That's going to be our tail edit. Boom. And it just cuts out just that tail portion of these clips here, all of our tracks. And now, however you want, structure them out. And there you go. You have personalized your computer. Okay, so that's it for this video. Just another quick look at top and tail editing and how it can really help you uh, speed up the editing process. It's useful for all kinds of editing styles. It's, you know, more than just like we did in the last video, cutting to sound, cutting to uh, a music track or, or uh, creating montages. It's useful for just normal editing styles. It's a real time saver. And once again, watch that first video for a thorough run through of how to set everything up and uh, a more thorough rundown of exactly what happens. And once again, just make sure you have the tracks selected that you want the top and tail editing to affect because if you don't have them selected, so right here, right here's our edit marks, okay, right here. And if I were to have just B3 and B2 selected, then I hit R, well, then it just trimmed out those two clips. And now we're going to be out of sync. All right. So make sure you have everything selected that you want to use that top and tail with, and you'll be flying through your edits at mock speed. So go try it out.